Good morning guys and welcome back to our life I choose the place to be to design your life so you can thrive. I'm with Pete. Morning. And we've just woken up and we are about to do a priming exercise which gets our minds and bodies into a positive state for the day. So we've just blown our noses because part of the exercise is blowing air out of your nose with yeah, like that. So kind of you can end up like with snot flying out of your nose. So <laughs> if you're gonna do this on a first date, most definitely blow your nose first. Do this on a first date, they're gonna take care of free. <laughs> I see a light in your eyes. I follow you. quite nicely we did our priming and then we did some exercise separately got dressed I went to meet my sister Lulu because today we're celebrating our niece's birthday so we wanted to go get her a gift when I asked Georgie what she wanted for her birthday she gave me a few options she said one a camera for Georgie like a toy camera is not gonna cut it she plays with my Canon G7X so she's used to that She's also used to the Polaroid camera, so she's, she's got that at home. So it didn't make sense to go and get her a toy camera. We thought about just getting her like a cheap sort of normal camera, but the place where we would usually go to buy wasn't open. So then when I asked her what else she wanted, she told me she wanted 100 billion euros so she could buy a bathtub full of slime, which I found interesting. So that was the second option, not gonna happen. Then she also said she wanted books. And then, I love kids clothes. We went to Zara and like Lulu and I just go mental in the kids section. Like they have cuter stuff in the kids section than they have in the adult section. I mean, there was this one outfit, it was like a pink tutu with this uh, navy blue sweater. And I was like, oh my God, I would so rock that. Like I would so wear it. So I'm just about to wrap her gift. And then we're gonna go pick up some some stuff for her party and then we're gonna go to the party this is another weekend vlog you guys are used to the weekend vlogs now if you're new to this channel thank you for checking us out I'm Emma I am a psychotherapist and a lifestyle strategist and this channel a life I choose is all about choosing your quality of life making sure that you enjoy your life no matter what no matter what's happening not that you're not affected like you become a robot but it just means that you choose a high quality of life and that you super enjoy it. Within the smoke, our dreams reveal. We're not a part of this world. I'd call you Venus cause that's how I feel. Take one step like this song in my head. Oh no!
Hola, I am at Pete and Yao's office. I'm rather tired. <laughs> I'm like super tired today, which is one of the reasons why I haven't been picking up the vlog so much and speaking to you guys in all honesty, like I'm just so tired today. Like I feel like I could sleep and I need to sleep and I've been feeling this way all week. This week was a busy one, very busy one. It wasn't like an uncomfortably busy week. It wasn't like running around from here to there or anything like that. It was just that I didn't schedule in breaks and I didn't schedule in fun time, which I have learned to do. But for some reason last week, I just forgot all about it. Didn't even think about it. Honestly, I didn't even think about taking a break until friday evening which was yesterday pete came home and he was like do you want to go out and i was like yes and uh, we went out and it was only then that it hit me that i hadn't taken a break all week like i just worked you know kind of i would stop to eat lunch and that's it so that was like you know kind of 15 minutes kind of eat lunch and that's it and i know this is a bad habit and this is how i used to work all the time and you guys know that i love my work so it's easy for me to get into that it's honestly so easy because i I'll, I'll feel fulfilled you know like i get to the end of the day i'm like that was awesome i rocked it like it was so much fun at the same time work is work like kind of you have to chill as well and you have to hang out with friends and you have to like meet family and stuff and so i'm tired today i'm dying to go home and sleep Although in my head, I, I'm saying I really want to bake some muffins as well. So I don't know, we'll see, maybe I'll stay up late. But tomorrow morning, I'm waking up early because I'm going to read to my grandmother if she's open to reading, to listening to a book, we'll see. But I started reading A Monk's Guide to Happiness to her. She was enjoying it and she was actually listening. She would tune out sometimes, but she was listening for the most part. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna go do that and I'll stay with her for about two hours. So I need to make sure I rest. And then there's a project that I need to work on throughout the day because there just wasn't time for it last week. I am at a funny point where like I have a lot going on work-wise and it's all good stuff. It's all exciting stuff. And at the same time, I'm like trying to make space for all of it. I'm trying to delegate as much as I can, like thank god Nicola makes a massive difference. Now Lulu's coming on board so she's gonna make a difference with the workshop. But like there's other projects and stuff and like stuff just needs to get done, you know what I mean? So kind of trying to pace myself as much as possible. So I don't want this to sound like I'm complaining, I'm not complaining at all, like I'm, I'm loving my work, it's fun. I just had a tiring week, like that's all. It's not really about work, it's, it's not the work that was bad, it was the fact that I didn't schedule in rest and fun and relaxation, that's it. Like otherwise the work was awesome, the work was slamming, the work was fun, you know, it was really really good. And I'm working now again today because I, I want to work and I want to work tomorrow, like the projects are super fun. But the thing is like when I don't re-nourish, you know, when I don't chill and take time off, then it gets tiring. So now I'm tired and... I need to like schedule in some time for re-nourishment. I think spending time with my grandma will be nice. So we'll see. We'll see how that will go. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I hope that this vlog isn't too boring. I'm not really sure what's going in the vlog in all honesty, kind of. It felt a bit you with me throughout my day. So we'll see how it goes. So anyway, I'm gonna do some work and Pete is downstairs doing some manual work on stuff. We'll speak later. I think tonight we're gonna like make popcorn and watch a movie. Unless I make muffins. We'll see. Peace. Pick up the dice. Give it a roll. By the way, the other day I mentioned that Pete's obsessed with bounce balls. He loves the chocolate mint ones, like he's just obsessed with them. But they have whey in them, so I don't eat them. But I recently found one with vegan protein. Yeah. So it has vegan protein and it's almond and spirulina flavor, which doesn't sound that tempting, but it actually tastes really good. It's really nice. Hashtag not sponsored. There's somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when The lighting in this vlog is just like... Not on point, but screw it. We're home, it's like 9pm and we're home and we're hungry. I'm still tired. So I'm gonna make this salad that, I basically I went to this cafe a few weeks ago and they had this amazing like 
fennel and rucola, orange and black olive salad and it was just so delicious that I was like I have to recreate this so I'm gonna do a bit, in of, a bit of an experiment. I'm so tired I'm not even speaking properly today. I'm going to do a bit of an experiment and I thought that you guys might want to see the creation and maybe be inspired to do it yourself so let's do this. Okay so I have three fennel right here. I'm gonna start by turning the oven on to I guess like 180 degrees and I'm gonna slice these say hello to Ezio Trot <laughs> for those of you who don't know Ezio Trot Ezio Trot is my hot water bottle who has been with me since I was 18 years old 16 years old so 16 you know, years. Two or four years then 16 years. 16 years. So anyway, I'm going to start by slicing these into very thin slices along with a white onion. And I'm going to roast them for a while. And then you just toss them together with the rest. So somebody know of a place where the green is covered by snow. Every time that your eyes speak, it's time to let go. So I didn't have any white onion. So I tossed in a red onion, some salt, olive oil and mix it all together and now I'm gonna bake it I don't know for how long I'm imagining about I don't know 20 minutes or something okay so the fennel and the onion are ready I made a honey and mustard dressing with olive oil to put on top oranges are ready we've got the black olives I don't know how good these olives would be I took a taste before and I wasn't that impressed but it will do and I have my rucola and I'm gonna start assembling what you are, like what you feel. Don't let the colors fade when it's hard to deal. So pick up the dice, give it a roll. Get yourself up when you left out alone. We think we know it all. We stand ten feet small with our head under, head under. Four teaspoons of mustard, four teaspoons of honey. Some olive oil. A bunch of olive oil. I actually and put salt some to I actually taste. put some water to like thin it out as well. Anyway, I think this should be delicious. <laughs> Guys, the verdict is it's, it's delicious. Good. <laughs> it's yeah, really it's good. Delicious. It's just delicious. It's really good. Okay. So we'll see you in the morning. We're gonna have a nice relaxed evening, eat our food, maybe watch a movie, and then see. I will see you tomorrow. Night. Hola guys. It's Sunday morning and I have a bit more energy this morning. I think you can tell. <laughs> My face is like brighter. Yeah, I feel much better this morning. It is a gloomy Sunday morning. There's clouds, gray clouds everywhere. I mean, the sky is pretty much just one big gray cloud and it's been drizzling, which to be honest, I quite like because I quite like winter weather and also it makes staying at home working like easier you know what i mean kind of if it's sunny outside and then the weather's calling you and saying come and play outside like kind of it's much more tempting to be like eh, i'll work later for me this works this is good this is very good because today i have a day of working on i'm preparing for the next radio show with melanie kelly let's talk about sex and also i'm working a little bit on my secret project this evening, Pete and I are planning to spend some time together, kind of like date night. I'm pretty positive I'm going to bake those muffins. They've been on my mind for the past like five days. For the past five days, I've been telling myself, I want to bake banana muffins. I want to bake banana muffins. I want to bake banana muffins. So I think I'm going to give myself that gift and bake some banana muffins. I went to my grandmother this morning and I read to her for a while. But anyway, she was quite relaxed and, you know, which is good. For healing it's very very good to be in a state of relaxation so yeah it kind of takes us to like the theme that has been this weekend you know kind of the theme of resting and recovering renourishing you know like a lot of people and a lot of my clients and me included are people who want to grow and want to achieve and want to contribute and want to be involved participating doing exciting work and then at the same time sometimes like we can get tired uh, which obviously we do we sort of underestimate the 
the having fun part, the goofing off part, the playing, the relaxing part. I'm sure that many of you guys do this as well, where you kind of like, you look at your schedule and you're like, oh, there's free moment. I will do this. So, like, I will get this done. I will get this done. I will get this done. So yeah, sometimes that, that happens to me. I have gotten much, much better at it. I used to just work all the time. Like as in, when I say work all the time, I mean work all the time. And I know that many of you get this. Nowadays, I do like scheduling fun time, scheduling time, you know, with Pete, with my family, with friends. We do chill and we do rest, but it's still something that, that I'm working on, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, that was why I chose the, I mean, I was mentioned this in a goal, in a vlog a few days ago where I spoke about why I chose the hashtag plenty goal. This is why I chose the hashtag plenty goal because I realized that I had invested so much energy in developing a life I choose which was kicking ass. I had focused energy into improving my health, which was awesome. I wasn't focusing enough energy towards like celebration, having fun, being with people. So that became like a new focus for this year, for 2019. And it's been, it's been really fun actually exploring this new, this new side of me, this new way of being in the world, this new way of connecting with people. It's been a lot of fun. It's been, it's been interesting. So guys, I think on that note, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I'm gonna leave the vlog here because I'm gonna give myself the rest of the day to focus on my work, to make those muffins, to spend time with Pete and to just let go and relax and to recover, re-nourish, get my energy and focus back, which already I'm feeling so much better today than yesterday. Yesterday, you know, I was really tired. I think you could see that I was really tired yesterday. Like even my... Like my muscles were like, oh my God, give us a break. Like, I'm so tired. Today I feel much better, but I know that like I need another day for rest. I need another, another day to recover, you know, to be able to then give my all again next week, which starts tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here. And on this note, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. I super appreciate that you guys tune in. It's so nice to be in dialogue with you. And the fact that you leave comments below and that you let me know what you liked or what you wanna know more about, like means the world to me. So thank you so much. And please do leave your comments below. And you know, I really, I really enjoy knowing what you wanna know more about. So just let me know kind of if, if I can do a Q&A about something, there's a particular topic or whatever, just let me know and I will deliver. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. Nicola and I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, I send you love, I wish you wellness, I wish you wealth, I wish you health, I wish you joyfulness, I wish you choicefulness, I wish you love and I wish you rest and relaxation and re-nourishment. Peace.